This is Keeping It Real, part of a series of videos where I wanted to interview people about how they became interested in the healthcare career and their journey to get to where they are today. In these interviews, we see that even top-ranking leaders and experts in their fields can have non-linear career trajectories. Hi, we're here with Christy Kirshner at Schwab Rehabilitation Hospital. Hi, Christy. Hi, Melissa. Can you tell me a little bit about your personal journey and how you became interested in your current profession? Sure. You know, I, I grew up in northwest Missouri in a town called St. Joseph, Missouri. Now, I went to a liberal arts college, and I really loved liberal arts, and I wasn't entirely sure that I was going to go into medicine until late in the game. My other love was English and journalism. I always had a love for the story. And in some ways, I think that's really pertinent to what I do today. I was attracted to rehabilitation medicine because it was an underserved field. It was a very young field, and I thought it would be very interesting to be a part of helping to map a new profession. It also really embraced the whole person. So it looked at people in the context of their lives, their environments. It looked at issues of quality of life and function. Oftentimes in rehabilitation medicine, you would start working with people at the onset of a disability where there are profound existential questions about the meaning of life. Um, I like that. That really pulled me in because of my attraction to the story and helping people become the authors of their lives again and be able to create their life, life story through understanding what was in the realm of possible. I have to say, I can't envision having found a career that could have been possibly been more satisfying. Hi, I'm here with Dr. John Franklin, a professor of psychiatry and surgery and associate dean of minority and cultural affairs here at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Thank you so much for being here today with us, John. Thank you, Melissa. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your personal journey and how you became interested in your current profession? Well, I am a psychiatrist, which is a subspecialty of medicine. Uh, it was a little bit of a journey to figure out that that's what I wanted to do, but I think I was always very interested in the mind and what was going on in the mind and, and consciousness and I was always somebody who read a lot about sort of the human condition and actually I was a theater major at one point which is very much about the human condition uh, so I think that was kind of the backdrop I ended up going to medical school there was times where I wasn't really encouraged to go into psychiatry because those are crazy people and why do you want to do that one of the things I learned is you have to follow your passion you have to follow your bliss and I went through a period where I was very confused and I didn't follow my bliss and thought I might be some other kind of physician and I came back to what I truly wanted to do and I've never looked back Hi, we're here with Dr. Teresa Woodruff, who is the Vice Chair of Research in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the Director of the Women's Health Research Institute at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Thank you so much for being here today, Teresa. Thank you, Melissa. And one of the really cool things about Teresa and I is that we've had the opportunity to work together over the years because we're in the same department and right. it's been a sincere pleasure. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your personal journey and what made you interested in your current career? Sure. When I went to college, I wanted to be a first grade teacher. And that's because my mother was a first grade teacher and my grandmother was a teacher of a one-room schoolhouse in western Oklahoma. And so that was really where I thought I would end up as a profession. When I got to college, then I started taking the science uh, core curriculum and really fell in love with the answers that were in the back of the book and wanted to know how people came up with those questions and the answers and so began kind of a journey of discovery of what science was all about. And I got a small grant to go to California Institute of Technology and uh, did some research on tetanus toxoids and so ultimately graduated with a degree in zoology and chemistry and went on to graduate school and uh, to a postdoctoral fellowship and now my faculty position. So I really came full circle from uh, wanting to be a teacher to now being a scientist and a teacher and it's been a very exciting journey. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Melissa.